Presenting how to change your watch buckle. Welcome back guys to Vintage Watch Street. Today we'll be using this beautiful 5748,000 Lord Marvel. Notice these are 16 millimeter buckles on 18 millimeter straps. Pro tip, don't use 18 millimeter buckles just because the strap is 18 millimeters. You need to know if the strap and the buckle are the same sizes. Now, to change a buckle, we could use any of these three tools. I'm going to use the standard knife today because most of you won't have these three tools. We're going to use this beautiful ostrich skin strap here. And notice there are no holes punched in this 16 millimeter end right here. So using any sharp apparatus, now, pro tip, make sure you move the watch head away when you're using any type of tools, just in case you drop the tool. Now, using something sharp, we're gonna punch these holes through here. You could use a toothpick, a skewer, anything with a point. And we'll make sure the hole is nice and bored out on both sides. So we're preparing this strap to receive a buckle, basically. All right, that looks perfect. Now, the brown strap is prepared, so it's time to move on to removing the buckle here from this black strap. We're going to hold the buckle in our left hand and push that strap over to expose the edge of the pin. There's about a millimeter you can see there. It's a little ledge on that pin, a lip. We need to hold this in the left hand and use our knife in the right hand to pry this pin. This is a spring-loaded pin and we want to decompress the spring and there it is right there. It should pop right off. Now, we want to go ahead and notice these two holes in either side of the buckle. You might have a little trouble pulling this pin out. If you do, use a pair of tweezers or pliers, but today we're lucky. It's very easy to remove. All right. The first thing you need to do is move the watch head away from the workspace, just in case we drop a tool. Now, the first thing we'll do is take this pin, and we'll put it through, and we want to expose about a half millimeter of the pin right there. I can see it just barely. And we're going to take the latch. <clears throat> now it's upside down. We don't like that. Let's put it in right side up. There you go. Now the latch is indeed right side up and we're going to go ahead and thread the pin through the latch and through the other side of this ostrich skin strap. There it is, right there, right there. Okay, there should be about a half millimeter of pin showing on either side. Now, a little pro tip, guys. You'll get these little boogers here, this material, and if you don't pull them away, it can actually make it more difficult to put the buckle on and makes the buckle less secure, less stable. So, the latch is ready to receive the buckle. Holding the buckle in the left hand, make sure the latch is open, not closed. Don't put the buckle on with the latch closed. That's right, open the latch all the way up. And we're going to put one tooth just in there. And yes, we can see the tooth is secure. Now let's use our left thumb and push a little bit of pressure against that pin. We want that pin to slide under here when we decompress this pin. And we'll push that pin down a little bit and it should slip right under there and into the hole. And in fact, it has. Now, to make sure your watch is stable and secure, give it a good twist, a good tug. Make sure the buckle is not gonna come off. And you are good to go. All right, guys. I hope this makes it easier for you to change your buckle. Thanks again for joining Vintage Watch Street, and have a nice day.